The 1960s was a time of tumultuous change in America. It was an era in which young people in droves started to experiment with altered states of consciousness, started to experiment with altering their perception using psychedelic, i.e. mind manifesting drugs. This created a kind of cultural revolution or a cultural crisis if you are those in power. And so at the time, of course, the hippies movement was criticized for its sexual promiscuity. You know, that was the easiest way to describe it. Oh, these young people are just having wild, unprotected sex and they're growing their hair long and they're being rebellious and oh my God, so much sexual promiscuity. But if you really look at what was the threat to the status quo in the 1960s, it wasn't sexual promiscuity. It was actually something more like ontological promiscuity. See, ontology has to do with beingness. And when people were experimenting with mind-altering subjects, substances, they were disclosing new forms of beingness before themselves. Like literally they were smashing their reality tunnels. They were realizing that culture is a linguistic construct and that the world and the walls that we see before us are constructed and we can reconstruct them and we can change them and we can upgrade them. There became a calling within culture to transform society, to liberate us from the shackles of dogma and to create perhaps a new world. So when we talk about the 1960s as the time of revolution, this was not about sexual promiscuity. This was ontological promiscuity. These guys were playing with reality, right? And threatening to usher in new realities, new worlds, new panoramas for humanity.